Hello, my name is Jordi Janet. I'm co-founder and director of Voctor Labs. We are a voice technology company based in Barcelona, specialized in building artificial voices for creative media applications. Our research background and main expertise relies on music and singing technologies. And on behalf of the co-authors, I'm glad to present here at ICASP a demo of our latest project on singing voice synthesis, which addresses the particular use case of choir singing synthesis. Next, I will do the voiceover uh, for my presentation slides, uh, for which you could listen to some demos at the end of this presentation. Thank you. So the title of this demo is Choir Singing Synthesis for Rehearsal Tools with Large-Scale Multilingual Repertoires. This is a work we've done together with my colleagues Alvaro Sarasua and Oscar Mayor from Voctro Labs and Jordi Bonada and Merlai Blow, working at the Universitat Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona. The context of this demo is Choir Singing, which is a popular social and cultural activity. And this work has been done in the scope of the Trompa project, a project funded by the European Commission that has the goal to make accessible public domain digital resources together with state-of-the-art technologies, and in our case, in singing synthesis technologies. Our participation has uh, two goals. First, to build a rehearsal tool to help singing practitioners, and second, to sonify a large multilingual public domain repertoire of choral music. So when we want to synthesize uh, singing, to create an artificial singing voice, we have to pay attention to different aspects compared to text-to-speech or speech synthesis. We have to pay attention to the pitch related to the notes, to the melody, to the timing, timbre, uh, phonetic aspects also for the lyrics, dynamics, and singing style aspects like uh, vibrato, legato type of intonations. So we have to pay attention to these details, although the underlying techniques can be shared. In this demo, we use a baseline system introduced by Merlin Blow and Jordi Bonada back in 2017 called Neural Parametric Singing Synthesizer which basically is an uh, regressive neural network using a uh, wave net architecture, which has three different models. One, to estimate the phonetic timings. Second, the pitch contour. And third, the timbre model, which is based on the vocoder features extract from the audio. To train the, these models, the data sets that are used consist of a musical score, the phonetic labels containing the timings also for the phonetic segmentation, as well as the audio recordings from the singing performance, a cappella singing performances, from which a set of vocoder features are extracted. In these experiments, the world uh, vocoder was, was used. In this demo, we also integrate a very recent uh, approach to estimate the pitch from the MIDI notes, so to from uh, melody, the MIDI notes uh, containing a score in a musical score, we need to estimate a continuous pitch curve, and we use the hybrid neural parametric F0 model, just that has been introduced here at uh, this edition of ICAST. This model has the particularity that is learned from data, so it uh, has a neural network that learns information from recorded real recordings, but it contains some parameters that could be modified later at the synthesis stage. For example, we could control the amount of vibrato depth in the synthesis step. To generate the choir singing, we have <clears throat> to do some extensions to the baseline system, First, we recorded a specific dataset. We recorded 16 professional choir singers of the Cor Frances Valls here in, in Barcelona. And we recorded musical phrases in four different languages, English, German, Spanish, and Catalan. 
The second extension was the possibility to multiply the voices. We don't want just to reproduce an individual singer, but we want to create, recreate a virtual choir. So we must build multiple voices with different timbre to create this choir texture that we want to, to achieve at the end. For that, we did experiments using uh, spectral envelope mapping of the vocoder features and also some experiments by doing a speaker adaptation or a voice cloning. As we said uh, at the beginning, one of the goals of this project was to synthesize a large-scale repertoire. And in this case, we are interested in the Coral Public Domain Library, which contains over 30,000 scores of free choral music. From this large um, repository of scores, we selected a subset of scores which were available in music XML format, which is the format that our system understands, and also in one of the four supported languages plus Latin, since using those languages we can also synthesize a Latin. The second uh, goal of the project was to develop a rehearsal tool that can help practitioners. Next, I will show you some of the functionalities we implemented. So in, the, in this video, we could see that we could load a score and we could see it uh, in the musical score format or visualizing it in a piano roll for those singers that are not used to read a classical, a traditional score. So we could zoom in in the selected bar for the singer and then listen to the synthetic uh, singing. We could change also the, the levels. So we can record our own performance. And then visualize on the piano roll extracted analysis. In this case, we extracted the pitch contour of the recorded voice. And next, we will play some, some demos. We rendered a piece by uh, Palestrina, an Italian uh, composer, 16th uh, century, in this case in uh, Latin. <laughs> Also, listen to the full demo in the QR code. And a second demo it's a musical greeting. In this case, it's an arrangement of a Happy Birthday uh, to You, for which in this demo we used a, a different vocoder based on male spectrum. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Susan. Happy birthday to you. So for those who, who paid attention here, the vibrato in this example, 
it's it's more present than in the example before the secret service by Palestine I read here before. So this concludes this uh, presentation. Um, I'll be happy to answer to your questions. Thanks.